Let's graph systems of equations which are written in y equals mx plus b form and find their point of intersection. There's three key steps. First you need to graph each of your lines. Then you need to find the point of intersection. And the last thing you need to do, which is what most students forget, is that you have to report that point of intersection as a coordinate pair. Let's try it. I have y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals negative one-half x plus three. Let's do the top line in orange. I'm going to start with my positive three. I'm going to go up one, two, three, put a dot. My slope is two over an invisible one, which means I need to go up two and to the right one. One, two, over one. One, two, over one. Now, I could also go down one, two, and back one down one, two, and back one. When I'm finding points of intersection, I like to repeat my slope several times to know that I'm working with very good points that are potential intersections. Let's graph the second line in green. I need to start from positive three, go up one, two, three. Well, that made it easy. We found our point of intersection, but let's go ahead and practice finishing the line. Negative one-half tells me I should go down one and to the right two. Down one, to the right two. Down one, to the right two. Or I could go up one and back two. Up one and back two. Again, I'm going to use my straight edge and I'm going to draw a nice clean straight line. The last thing I need to do is identify my point of intersection. Both of my lines meet right here. That happens to be at the coordinate pair, 0, 3. So my point of intersection is the point, 0, 3. Let's find the point of intersection for the lines y equals 1 half x plus 4 and y equals 3 halves x minus 2. I'm going to do the first equation in orange. I start by plotting positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I went up 1, 2, 3, 4 and made a dot. Now looking at my slope, I should go up 1 and to the right 2. Up 1 and over 1, 2. Up 1 and to the right 2. Up 1 and to the right 2. I also could go down 1 and back 2. Down 1 and back 2. This gives me several potential points of intersection. Draw myself a nice clean line. Let's do our second line with green. My y-intercept is negative 2. Go down 2, plot it. My slope says I need to go up 3 and right 2. So up 1, 2, 3 and right 1, 2. Up 1, 2, 3 and up 1, Right two. Julio Rodriguez and Rangel is here to pick up Stephanie. Stephanie, please come for your right. Going to go up one, two, three, and over one, two. Aha! One, two, three, over one, two. Finally found that point of intersection. Here's my nice clean line. And now we need to identify this point of intersection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up. So apparently that is at the coordinate pair 6, 7. Let's find the point of intersection for the equations y equals 2 fifths x plus 3 and y equals 5. Well, let's do the first equation in orange. I need to start at the y-intercept of 3. 1, 2, 3. My slope says I should go up 2 and to the right 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I could also go down 2 and back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to take my straight edge, 
draw my nice line. Let's do the second equation using green. This says I should go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My slope is 0. That means I do not rise at all, but my line runs. My line runs and runs and runs and runs, so it makes a horizontal line. Here's my point of intersection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. It's so positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. So 5, 5 is the coordinate pair showing my point of intersection. 